Now to breaking news just into our newsroom. A verdict has been reached in the trial of Lewis Coleman. A jury has found the 36-year-old Providence man guilty of kidnapping, resulting in the death of Jazzy Correa. This is a federal court case, so cameras are not allowed inside the courtroom. Target 12 investigator Tim White was there and joins us now from Boston with the breaking developments. Tim? As the verdict was read, family members screamed aloud in the courtroom. Keep in mind, they attended every day of this trial, often listening to very difficult testimony and brutal images from the trial. Now, 36 year old Lewis Coleman of Providence has been found guilty by a federal jury in Boston of kidnapping, resulting in the death of Jassy Correa. Prosecutors say she was snatched from outside a Boston nightclub in February 2019 on the night she was celebrating her 23rd birthday. The government presented a mountain of evidence, including video of Coleman carrying a lifeless Correa into his Providence apartment and when he was arrested in Delaware with Correa's body in the trunk of his car. Now, prosecutors say they hope the out Outcome would bring some sense of closure to the family. Please take a moment to remember, and I appreciate your question, Shelley, this vibrant 23 year old woman who had her life stolen from her. And although this conviction will not bring Jassy back, today's guilty verdict brings some measure of justice to her loving family who must face a devastating void every single day of their lives. The jury deliberated for four hours yesterday and four hours again today after an alternate juror had to be picked. Now, Coleman will be sentenced on September 22nd, but his fate is sealed by law. He will spend the rest of his life in prison. In Boston, with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. First, we continue working breaking news out of Boston. A Providence man convicted of kidnapping and killing a young woman. New at 6, we're hearing from Jassy Correa's family about the verdict against Lewis Coleman. Target 12 investigator Tim White has the breaking details from Boston. As the verdict was read, family members screamed out in court, the emotions spilling over after attending every day of trial and listening to often difficult testimony. 36 year old Lewis Coleman of Providence guilty of kidnapping, resulting in the death of Jassy Correa. Prosecutors say she was snatched from outside a Boston nightclub in February 2019. Tricking Jassy into believing that he was going to give her a ride back to her friend's apartment and instead holding her against her will, sexually assaulting her, strangling her to death, and embarking on a massive effort to cover up his crimes. The government presented a mountain of evidence, including video of Coleman when he was arrested in Delaware with Correa's body in the trunk. Investigators say Coleman bought multiple cleaning products to conceal his crime and purge his Providence apartment of evidence before putting Correa's body in luggage to bring to his car. What should have been a fun night celebrating her 23rd birthday turned into a dreadful nightmare for Jazzy's family. Defense attorneys attempted to show Correa went willingly with Coleman in that she reacted violently in the car, forcing Coleman to defend himself, but the jury didn't buy it. Correa's father saying after the verdict, he made a promise to attend every day of the trial. Because I was the one who brought Jesse to the United States when she was three years old. Because this now is my responsibility. The jury deliberated for four hours yesterday and again four hours today after an alternate juror had to be picked. Now Coleman will be sentenced in September, but his fate is sealed by law. He will spend the rest of his life in prison. In Boston with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.